Hello, my name is Angelica Dominich and I am a trainer at Pragmatic Works. If this is your first time visiting our YouTube channel, make sure to like this video and subscribe to stay up to date on all of the videos that we post. Today, I am going to go over one of the newest features that was released with the October Power BI update. The feature I want to talk to you about is the Quick Measures Suggestions feature. Now, Quick Measures as a feature was released back in April 2017. So the Quick Measures feature itself is not very new, but if you haven't used Quick Measures before, do not worry. I'm going to briefly explain this feature and how it can help you in Power BI. So before we jump in to the explanation of quick measures and quick measure suggestions, we need to go into our preview features and make sure that we have our quick measure suggestions turned on. So with your Power BI desktop open, select File, Options and Settings, Options again, and then under preview features here in the global section of our options menu, we are going to see right here the quick measure suggestions features that we need to turn on. So as you can see, I already have mine turned on, but this is where you would go to get started. So make sure you have this turned on and then it's gonna require you to restart your Power BI desktop. So go ahead, take care of that, restart your desktop, and then we will get started. So Quick Measures is a tool that allows you to create a measure quickly and fairly easily by running some DAX, which we know DAX stands for Data Analysis Expression Language. And the uh, Quick Measures will allow you to run some DAX commands in the background. And just like magic, it will return the results to you so that you can use it in your report. Now you can modify this as needed, but the beauty of this feature is it allows you to see the DAX that is needed to create the measure. This can be super helpful if you are new to DAX or just trying to expand your DAX knowledge. Now the difference between quick measures and quick measure suggestions is the initial quick measures feature. You need to input what type of calculation you would like your measure to use, and you will also need to provide the fields of data you want this quick measure to pull into that DAX expression. However, with the quick measure suggestions feature, this feature works similar to our Q&A feature in that it allows you to ask a question of your data but instead of returning the result to you in the form of a visual like the Q&A feature does, it returns the result to you in the form of a measure. So let's go ahead and get started testing this feature out. So we are looking at the AdventureWorks dataset here, which is frequently used in Microsoft trainings. Now we have a matrix visual here showing the sales amount for each product category here. Now, let's say we wanted to create a measure that was going to show the average sales amount by category. Now, why might we wanna do that? The reason you might wanna create your own measures is so that you can later use that measure in other DAX expressions to perform additional calculations. In other words, you can use that measure to build on your DAX calculations. So you can use that in later DAX calculations. So before we take a look at quick measure suggestions, let's see how quick measures works. So from the home ribbon up top here, I'm going to select quick measure to get started. Now here we will need to select a calculation that we want to use. And for this example, I want to use the average per category. So I'm gonna select that one here. Now we need to provide our base value and so here we are going to select sales amount and we want the sales amount for our product category. Now we'll go ahead and hit add here and we will see a measure here showing us the DAX that's used. So this is our formula bar showing us the DAX that is used for our measure. So. Let's go ahead and add this to a visual so we can take a look and see proof of our measure. Let's see our measure value. So I'm going to uh, just select a standard card visual here. 
and I'm going to add that new measure here. And so we can see here that it's showing us the average sales for each category. So the average sale over these categories is $27 million. So that is a lot of data here. So looking at this, we can come over to our visual here and we can take a look at this for each category and see that here. So we can cross reference and check and we can see this value is checking out here. So we know that our measure works. So that's how we would use quick measures here. But let's take a look at how we would use our quick measure suggestions. So in order to get to quick measure suggestions, we are going to select quick measure again. And then over here, we will select suggestions. And then now we will ask a question of our data, just like we would using the Q&A feature. So for this, let's type in average sales amount by, by category. And you can see here, it's already suggesting us for us. So let's go ahead and type that in. We'll take that suggestion and then let's select generate. And let's see what we get here. So we can see here the uh, preview value. We can see a preview of the DAX. But let's go ahead and add this measure now here. So we've added the measure here and notice it hasn't given it a name. That's okay. We just want to see what it does and if it gives us the same result as that quick measure calculation that we input on our other report page. So I'm going to select a card visual here now and I'm going to go ahead and add in that measure we created here and see and there we go. We get the same result here. So we can very easily use quick measure suggestions to use DAX and to add DAX to our reports. Now, some things to be aware of when using this feature. If you've already created some measures in your report, when you go to try you to use quick measure suggestions, if you are using uh, the same verbiage and using quick measure suggestions that you use to create previous measures, it may try to pull in those measures to build off of instead of pulling in a column of the data. You may also want to be careful with the wording when you are typing your question into the suggestions box. I hope you find this video helpful as you begin using the quick measure suggestions feature. And thank you so much for joining me in this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with all of the content from us here at Pragmatic Works. If you want more content from Pragmatic Works outside of our YouTube channel on Power BI or any of the other programs in the Power Platform, then head over to our on-demand learning platform that I have linked in the description below where you can take classes on our ODL covering Power BI, DAX, Power Apps, Power Automate, and Teams, just to name a few. Thanks again for watching. Let me know in the comments how you plan to use the quick measure suggestions feature, and I will see you next time.